Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are back with some more Torn Origins. Episode 2? Episode 3, actually. And uh, we are going to be finishing the second mission that we didn't end up finishing last time because I forgot to put the audio log down this hatch. So, there you go. And... The audio log has been submitted. The audio log has been submitted. Good work. I'll have a team of analysts listen to it and research its meaning. When that's done, it'll be sent to the chest in your agent headquarters, so you can listen to it again at any point. Yes, I got ten bucks. Do you know what that ten bucks going to? Food. Because oh, audio logs are hidden in smaller sewer city sewer rooms around the city. Look for blood trails leading from sewer grates. Unlock the sewer grate and get the get to the end of the sewer room to access the audio log. Then take the audio log back to HQ and play it using the player in the agent headquarters. There are five remaining sewer rooms in the city. Uh, complete them all for bonus cash and a reward. Ah, that may be something that we are going to be end up, going to be end up doing. That's not how words work. Uh, that's probably something we will end up doing. However, first, I want to do training number two to start off this episode. Welcome to the XIA Puzzles Training Module, Agent A01. Module 1-3, Vents. Not really a puzzle, but still necessary to master. Enter the vent opening by sprinting towards it and jumping with your glider. You don't need to sprint. Uh, activate through the vent to complete module one. Or navigate. I thought, why did that say activate? See, you can walk. Now, sprinting does tend to work better because you get a running start and then it allows you to fly a little bit easier. But yeah, you can just walk and do the same thing. Here we go. We navigate through. Why is it all white? That's what she said. Uh, module two dash three pressure plates. Pressure plate navigation room. Carefully make your way through the room without stepping on the wrong pl pressure plate. Plates. The answer will always be on the ceiling. Okay, I have played maps. I don't know if it was this map, uh, or Torn, I should say, in particular. But gosh diggity darn it. Uh, but I have definitely played maps where this is, you know, the solution as well. And, uh... I didn't know that, and I, you know, I was supposed to look up, and I just ended up doing it a different way entirely, and, yeah. So, I'm not a fan of these, because pressure plates are finicky. I'm probably gonna end up cutting most of this. Since it's pretty freaking boring. Anytime we come across these puzzles, I'm probably just gonna cut most of it, because, yikes, that is... Not fun. Okay, well, we did it. Oh, mazes. Okay. There is one exit. Find it. Got it. Sounds good. Gonna do my strat. I hug the left wall all the way around. <clears throat> okay. Let's... Uh, no, nothing there. This way, this way. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, hey, look, I did it. Sick. Training 3 is now unlocked, and Training 2 has been completed. Let us begin uh, chapter or mission number 3 right now. We're just going to hop right into it. The Drug Bust. Mission start 1.3 Drug Bust. Headmaster, what's my next mission? We have word that local thugs are, have infiltrated a building in East Downtown. It's possible that they're using it to store drugs, but we're not sure. Are, there, are these the same guys as the ones I fought at the museum? In the museum. No, these are just your generic street thugs. This city's infested with them, A01. So in addition to the cyborg guys, I have to take on these street thugs too. That's right. Why can't the cops handle the thugs, and we'll handle the cyborg guys? The cops in the city are as corrupt as they come. Probably worse than Gotham City. Uh, uh, this is in the same universe as Batman? I could be with... Crossover? Batman at A01? Huh? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's why I founded the XIA here. To bring this city back from the dead. In a sense. 
Alrighty then. I've sent you the coordinates of the location. Press F3 to view your coordinates. Get inside the building and find what those thugs are hiding. Uh, head to the coordinates. Negative 32, 55, 143? Is that a 3 or an 8? Eh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so negative 32. So we'll head this way. And then, no, it's, oh, it's actually in this direction. Okay. Well, hmm. Is there a way for me to get across? Oh, hey, look, we'll head this way. We'll head this way through the city. And then we'll head this way. What was it? Uh, 143. Hello? Oh, yo, what up? I like that sound of him dying. Sounds kind of dark, but I I did. I liked it. <laughs> it was a good sound. Uh, here. Ish. Wait. Oh, negative 32. Whoops. And then 55. Oh, so it's up there. It's up a level. Okay. So, let's get up there. Do you want to fight? No. What? Who? What? Who was saying I'm here? I'm not here. I'm... <laughs> Hello? Sidewalk paving in progress. Please avoid area. City of Evan. Hmm. Oh, they're lanterns. No? No, they're not. I lied. I don't know what they are. I thought they would be lanterns. Uh, I think this is the building I'm supposed to be in, but I can't get in because of reasons. I don't know. Hmm. What does this say? Upper Evan Avenue. Aha. Uh -huh. Why is there water here? Is that supposed to be a thing? I feel like that's not supposed to happen. Hopefully the map's not just like broken. <sighs> yeah, I'm supposed to be like right here. Oh, here we go, the white pressure plate. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. I can't go in through the main doors. They'll spot me, need to head lower. Ah, I'm upset. All right, time to head lower. Oh, it's tiny. It's a tiny. No. And it's making me hungry. Oh, I really don't like this. This is the worst. This is awful. Not gonna lie. This is pretty, this is pretty sad. Yo, what up? How's it going? Okay, uh, where might this entrance be located? Yeah, what up? No? Nothing there? Hmm. It's this building that we're looking to get into. And I'm not, I'm just not seeing any. Oh, here we go. Later. Oh, no, it's a maze! Oh. It's a one tall maze at that. And I'm out of food! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Do I get money for killing mobs? Because if so, I might just, like, farm up a whole bunch of mobs. I think this might be the way to go. Yep! Look at that! Cool. Make your way through the building. He's here, guys. I'm here. <laughs> I love this resource pack. It's oh, that's a creeper! Nice. I'm here! I'm here, guys! 
Can you tell? Come on, there's a fight going down. <laughs> Is there something back here? No. Okay. Lobby check-in. Nice. I'm very glad I have an unbreakable shield. That is pretty nice. Because now I can block every single creeper explosion ever. Ho! Oh, hello, why did you keep walking? Did you see that? The guy kept walking as he was, like, exploding. That was weird. To be clear, at the top of the ladder is a trapdoor. You can open them. Cool. Oh gosh, what the heck? Oh, this is not good. Don't fly. Stop flying. Just crit. I don't know why my guy was flying. That's depressing. Oh, hello. Get him. He's here. Get him. Yeah, like that. Don't fly. Just... I think there are more guys up there. Okay, I've got half health. If I get hit, I'm probably gonna die. So, there's that. Can I get some water from the water cooler? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hello. There's a fight going down. Get him! Oh no, there's a small guy. Oh, I hear a small one. I hear a small guy. That's worrisome. That is... Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, I'm just... Where's the smaller one? I hear, I hear a small guy. I hear. Oh gosh, hello. <gasps> I didn't take damage from him. That's a, that's a pretty pog moment. That creeper took forever to explode, hello. Oh my gosh, I hear so many, so many zombies. I mean, thugs. Oh, no, there's another small one. No. gonna close up that door I have a half a heart and guess what I'm not gaining any more health if I get hit I'm dead oh there's there's another there's another small one huh huh no oh my gosh Here. I hear another little one, but I can't tell if that's down below or up ahead. I think it's actually up ahead. Okay. Oh, it's a tiny guy! Oh, no! Just die! No! Oh, you're kidding! Oh, there is never enough food in these maps. Ugh. That's so sad. It's like, I'm not even, like, running places. I'm just walking. So it's not like I'm, you know, wasting a bunch of food by running everywhere. Most of the time I'm walking. So. Drugs. Nice. Looks like your drug stash. Your drug stash. Your drug stash has been busted, suckers. All right, well, that's fine. Landmark number three, McGowan Building. Arguably the most famous example of art decor deco buildings in Evan, most likely due to its proximity to the center of the city. The McGowan Building is the oldest skyscraper still remaining, completed in 1898. Holy crap, that is old. Since then, the building has gone through quite a few renovations to keep it up to par. 
Its iconic top and bottom beige portions, combined with its brick middle portion, make the McGowan building a city icon. I got ten bucks for finding that. Sick. Do you know what that makes? That's a grilled cheese, baby. That's a grilled cheese. Okay. What is... Hold on. Hold on. We're going on an adventure. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing! Not a... Nothing! Why? Why is there a trap door? Aha! I'm so confused. I was expecting a, 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 a landmark, but alas. <laughs> I love this texture pack so much. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't giggle that much, but oh man, that's funny. Oh my, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Do you see how good I am at this game? Oh, I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> Hold on, I do want to climb this though. Because normally when you end up climbing these ladders, you end up finding something great at the end. Uh, or a landmark or something like that. Maybe they're not great, but they're pretty good. Oh, wow, that was really bad. I didn't sprint. Lol. I'm like, I'm like keeping my hand away from the sprint key because... I don't have food right now. That's always what happens in the, or that's what happened last time in the torn map, is uh, I didn't have food, so I ended up just like walking around everywhere, not sprinting, and um, and I got used to that. And now, or, and then eventually, you know, you actually get food, and and you're pretty good. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's still not, still not the greatest. Still don't have enough food. There we go. Landmark number five. Meg Megalin Tower. Mageland Tower. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. A newer addition to the city skyline, Mage Mageland Tower was completed in 2013, just one year before Torn, Torn Origins takes place. Its unique design, anchored by tall cyan glass windows and a thicker base, makes the building hard to miss when walking the streets. Uh, yeah, sure, I totally never miss any of the buildings. Nope, I haven't missed a single building. Uh, oh my gosh. I want to go to that clock tower. There's definitely something over there. Right? Like, there's 100, 100% there's something in here. Look at that! Landmark 14. Getting that money for that food. Ain't that true to life. Anyway. <laughs> McKinney Clock Tower. For a long time during the early and mid 20th century, skyscrapers were rising all around the city, but development along the riverfront was still lagging behind. This lasted until 1948 when the McKinney Clock Tower was built. It became a staple of the city during the second half of the century, guiding those who wandered the city center. Fun fact. The clock froze for a few seconds in 1989, and no one noticed it until the delay became obvious a year later. Ah, interesting. How do I get out of here? Oh, cool. Huh. Oh, wait. Yes. Yes. Nice. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna head over to this building. This looks like a landmark building. Was I wrong? I was wrong. Darn it. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's head to uh, to home then. Is there anything else that we can catch on the way? Probably not. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hup. What's up here? Is there a landmark? Nope. Nope. Of course not. Why would there be? All right, I got the drugs. Hey, elevator's done. Cool. Uh, do we need to head this to the examine room? Looks like it. Uh, throw the entire stack of drugs, all 64, at once down the hatch. Whoop. Coolio. Great work, A0. Great work, A01. These will be terminated immediately. That's what I like to hear. Well, you won't want to hear this. 
Those thugs own the city, so they've, they've definitely got more hidden drug stashes around town. It's up to you to find, infiltrate, and eliminate those stashes. All right, I'll keep it in mind. The XIA have in-point, uh, in-pointed? pinpointed five smaller gang hideouts located around the city. Find, infiltrate, and destroy the drugs hidden in all five gang hideouts for a reward. Note that you won't uh, that they won't be as long or intense as the one you just completed. It's easy AF, bruh. So Ten bucks! Yes! That's a sandwich! Mission 1.4 is now available. However, before we go into that, I wanna see Sweeping Edge. Hmm. I think I, do. I think I'm I think I'm gonna get this uh, sweeping edge melee weapon. I'm also going to get this flame pistol. That seems pretty good. Also, the enchants. The enchants kind of look weird. They're like gray, so it kind of looks grayed out. Anyway, cool. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of this stuff away, but that is going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, a like is very much appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as the rest of this series, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to always... Stay frosty. Bye-bye.